today, I'm super original. Oh yeah, like nobody's done that before. I almost stabbed myself. There we go. And I get thirsty. Ugh, terrible. What good is the Hunter Hoffman back with insane content? In this video, we try out something new. We're going from yellow to white. And you guys should go from not subscribed to subscribed. And also from not buying insane merch to buying insane merch. Guys, enjoy the video and let's see what's up. We're back. We're back on the M2 YouTube. Today, we're gonna go ahead and do a little mod on the M2. We're gonna go ahead and turn these bad boys into yellow ones. Oh yeah, like nobody's done that before. Yeah, but we're gonna do it properly today. So let's do this! All right, so first we're gonna quickly disconnect the battery. If you wanna know what this is, click on the top right-hand corner of the screen. All right, so to get to the DRLs, we're first gonna pop the hood. All right, so as you can see, the DRL modules are located over here and over here. So we're gonna get these removed by undoing three T20 screws. All right, so then we're gonna carefully pry it out and undo the connectors. There we go. So this is the module that we're gonna tinker with. All right, so after removing the other one off camera as well, we're now gonna go ahead and remove these boards from the heatsink. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a flat screwdriver and get them between the board and the heatsink and try to pry it off. That's one. So that's one original board removed. And now for the other three. There we go. Three, and that's four. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a hard task. Uh, those things are super stuck in there. So yeah, this is the adhesive that we're now gonna clean up. And uh, yeah, so let's continue. All right, so we're gonna scrape the adhesive off with a flat screwdriver. All right, so that's one. All right, and that's two. So now with a bit of sanding paper, we're gonna sand this down. So now we're gonna clean the heat sinks up with some isopropanol. Ugh, terrible. All right, so now that we have prepared our um, heat sinks, we're gonna go ahead and install the yellow DLRs. So these are the boards that will provide the car with yellow DLRs, DRLs, I should say. <laughs> so as you can see, we still need to break these in two. All right, so we're gonna start out with the right-hand side of the car. All right, so the new boards are gonna sit like this and like this. So we obviously need to make sure that these are stuck to the heatsink. So we're gonna use a tiny bit of super glue to make sure that they stay in place. But, and this is where I see other YouTubers fail, we're also gonna use thermal paste. We're gonna use thermal paste to make sure that the conductivity of the heat sink is properly functioning. These things can get quite hot, so we need to make sure that the heat is properly conducted, and that's where the thermal paste comes in. So we're first gonna use the supplied grease cleaner to perfectly clean the board. Then we're gonna carefully apply a thin layer of the thermal paste. All right, so that was my first time, that was terrible. <laughs> Let's see if I can spread this better. All right, so this is what I finally made of it. I agree, it looks like shit, but it's probably functioning. So yeah, let's go ahead and apply some super glue to the heatsink and continue. We're only gonna use four very small drops and that's it. So now we're gonna carefully apply 
All right, apologies, the battery of my camera died. So yeah, I went ahead and put on the boards on the heat sinks of camera and these are the results. So yeah, I think it's now time to um, install these in the car and see how they look. By the way, these are on a raw car. They're not going anywhere anymore. So this is, uh, I have full confidence that this will work. So first let's reconnect the connectors. One, two, carefully slide this in place and button these up again. And repeat the process on the other side. Then we're gonna reconnect the battery. And see for the results. And is it good? It works. Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. I like it. Yeah, that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> well, at least it worked. All right, time to make some B-roll. like that I like the result but I'm also keeping the original board so that I can always switch back to white if I want to guys it feels good to put out some more insane content for you guys next time we'll be addressing a flaw of the BMW M2 so keep an eye out on that in the meantime please consider subscribing really appreciate that and I just hope to see you all next time thank you so much for watching and see you next time so we're gonna un so we're gonna so we're going to get these removed by undoing So we're going to get these removed by undoing 3 T20 torques. Nay. 3 T20 bolts. 3 T 3 T20 screws. So we're going to get these So we're going to get these removed by So we're going to get these removed by undoing <laughs> So we're going to get these So we're going to get these removed by do <laughs> So we're going to get these removed by So we're going to get these removed by undoing 3 T20 screws. So we're gonna get these removed by undoing 3 T20 screws. Yes, get them.